Hey guys, welcome back. Hope here comes with eight different versions, and they all are super fast and easy to use. And one of them that is Laravel. So I'm a Sitsik from Icoin Design, and let's see why Laravel. So Laravel is a PHP framework that gives you robust backend for your web application. And if you want to make anything in Laravel, then don't worry about it. You don't have to start from scratch because Hope AI gives you Laravel version with all the ready-to-use components, pages, and all the features that is available in other version. So now let's start with the walkthrough of Hope AI Laravel version. So let's start with the installation. Firstly, uh, we will download the required software and dependencies. So we will download Xam for the server. Then we will download Node.js for UI development as CSS and JS. And finally, Composer for Laravel and VS Code for editing the codes. Now let's start developing Laravel. I am using Apache server and now we will open our Laravel project on VS Code. First step, we need to copy the env example to env. So we will run the following command in the terminal and then the next command will be composer install for Laravel dependencies. While composer is running, we can create our database on phpMyAdmin. So here I am creating a database with the name hopeui underscore laravel and then just click on create then in dot env we will add the newly created database in here and configure our database after some time our composer has been installed and it has created a vendor folder now we will run npm install for the node module it will take two to five minutes just to wait for it don't panic once it install we will add the command php Arslin key generate and we will see the application key it set successful now we have set the database username and password i've created database on php my admin and we can see there is no table we can add a command arslin migrate for the table and seed for table default data now let's check the php my admin and we can see that multiple tables are created now i'm running the project php artisan server command and we can see the project has been run now in hope you are there is a role based login and permission login pre-built given you will get in data is and cedar user table cedar.php will get the username and the password so here admin at the rate example.com that is my email id and we will add the password so we have logged in as we saw in our previous chapter how to install and set up our project and also setting up the database now we will see the folder structure of laravel version in hope ui so in the laravel version the structure will be in the component based structure so all the layout setting JS is available in the app layout.php that stores in database. So in the database, the table name is app setting table and in the app setting table, the column name will be name and the value is layout underscore setting in the value as a setting object like HTML converts into gulp config fast. So in case you can do copy config from live customizer or paste it here. So setting will be just changed from here. And the second way to change the setting is from the project file in the search bar. Search the file name that is app setting table cedar.php. The cedar will be in the default cedar as we have seen here. And we will be changing directly from just here. So in the app layout.php, all the plugins enabled and disabled props will be given as you can see just here. So all the layout view available in the folder name called views. And in that view, the folder name is dashboard. And we can see all the default layouts will be available there. And in the modules folder, some different modules layout will be given as we can see just here. Same as every module, the full project components will be given in the component folder of the module. Here, module based components or its partial will be available. The full project partial is also available here and also default widgets are available here. If you need to call a specific page or any layout, then this is the default layout or simply enable the plugin namely is select to is to is flat picker. Then you can use from here and in this component partial scripts are available and here all the script is condition based scripts. If you need to enable any plugin via prop, then you can simply change it to true or false and you can take access from here. So this is the folder structure of Laravel version and there are many videos available in this video series to guide you through Hope UI. So check them out and if you are not a professional and don't want to buy Hope UI Pro, you can simply check our free version that is open source dashboard UI kit Hope UI. And like this video, subscribe to our channel and click this bell icon and share this video with your friends and the developer community so they can see the future of admin UI. Till then, I'll see you